Hi everyone, we're going to find the critical numbers of the absolute value function g of t equals absolute value of 3 t minus 4. So before we get started, let's look at what a critical number is. It's such, um, it's some number c, in our case it's going to be t, in the domain of f that either or, so it's either that f prime of f, f prime of c equals 0, or f prime of c does not exist. I want to look real quick at the just absolute value of x. Now this can be written, this is a piecewise function. First of all, uh, we all know that it looks like this. It does have a minimum value here at 0, so um, f of or 0, you call this f of x, equals 0, so that is a critical value. However, f prime of 0 does not exist. Um, so it does have a critical number at 0, because that's a minimum, but f prime of 0 doesn't exist. So that's what this definition states. And, and we can write this as it's x, if um, x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's a negative x if x is less than 0. And if you took the derivative of this, you would get 1 and negative 1. And when you wrote, write this, you get x is greater than 0, and this one would be x is less than 0. You can't put an equal here because that wouldn't make sense. Okay, so when you take the derivative, so this would be uh, f prime of x. And so that's why it doesn't exist, because you have two different values here. So let's start with this one. So the first thing I want to do is rewrite this as a piecewise defined function. So we have 3t minus 4 if... Um, I'm going to put if 3t minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0, and it's negative 3t minus 4 if uh, 3t minus 4 is negative. Now let's straighten this part up. So we're going to have g of t equals, we want to know what t is. So we have 3t plus 4, or minus 4, and let's solve for t. If you solve for t, you're going to get if t is greater than or equal to 4 thirds, and then I'm going to rewrite this. This would be negative 3t plus 4, so I'll put 4 minus 3t. If t is less than, again, you add the 4 and divide by 3, so that'd be 4 thirds. Now, when you take the derivative of g, um, we're going to get 3 and negative 3 when you take the derivative. So we're going to do g prime of t equals 3 if t is positive or, or greater than 4 thirds. Now, you can't put the equal because uh, 3 and 4 thirds aren't the same. That wouldn't make sense and negative 3 if t is less than 4 thirds. So therefore, g prime of t does not exist. And, um, but there is a critical number at t equals 3, four, at 4 thirds, sorry. And basically it's the same as our first graph, so it would be at 4 thirds, say this is 4 thirds, this would be our t, and it would go something like that, just a sketch of the graph. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.